we get underway. The final 40 minutes for one of these teams is, uh, is getting underway. As we start here at Dudley Chesham Oval, the Oaks Tigers lead it by 10 points to nil. Can they hold on? Will the workers come back? Only time will tell over the next 40 minutes. The workers running left to right on your radio in the second half. The workers now coming up field towards the 40. Matt Jones, uh, Scott Jones rather into dummy half, Alec Bush. Two passes off the ruck. Looking for a way through this Tigers defence which hasn't been breached so far. Stedman puts it on the right, Peter Slipper drives it downfield, sits up on the bounce for Alex Cannon. Cannon wheels around into this wall of black and red. No way through this time, there's only six kilometres separating these two teams but this afternoon it might as well be 6,000. There's a long way between these two near neighbours for the next 40 minutes at least. Scambry takes it up the middle, good run. He's about 12, 15 metres short of halfway. In the Tiger Insulation broadcast box, this is Group 6 Leg Live, finals football on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Mike Sheen with you this afternoon. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. As we wind down what's been a big weekend of rugby league, this is the eighth match. We did squeeze in a little bit of bonus football this morning, but the eighth full game of rugby league broadcast this weekend. We'll do another... Eight minimum next weekend. Ali Aloof tried to trap that on the boot. It didn't sit up the workers in the end. Who's that come off? It's gone into touch on the western side of the ground. It pinballed around on that far side. I'm not sure who that's come off. It will be a scrum feed. Regardless matter of whether it's the, uh, the Tigers or the workers who gets the feed. Just a little discussion between touch Judge Mackay and referee Sheldrick, so it's going to be a Tigers scrum feed. Tigers scrum feed to start the second half. We've only had a couple of minutes. This one's been a tight and tough elimination final. 10-0 the scoreline for Kip McGrath, Norellan and Campbelltown. Mike Sheen with you this afternoon, bringing it home from DCO this afternoon. We're starting to get a little bit fresh here in the Burragarang Valley. I don't know about anybody else, but I've gone for the long sleeve you know, jacket to get us through the remainder of the afternoon. As far as I can tell, both sides still have 13 on the field. And he's really taking it forward, looking to offload out the back. Thompson makes sure he doesn't get it away. 13 metres out. Russell to the right-hand side. Begovic, Begovic pops it out the back. He's Vandermuel and finding Phillips, finding Hamish Oxley, the pass. They're going to say it's okay. The last pass, there was a long check on that, but Aaron Sheldrick clears it, and it's a try to the Tigers. They're up 14-0 with a kick to come. We've only had three minutes in the second half. Hamish Oxley extends the lead beyond two converted tries really makes it difficult for the workers from here. And it looks like the uh, script writers might be ending the fairy tale right here this afternoon at DCO. It's not over yet, but uh, from, uh, from how it looks from here, certainly looks as though there'll be a no fairy tale finish this afternoon for the, uh, the Oakdale workers. Group 6 Rugby League. Conversion attempt from Mitchell Brasington now 25 metres out. They've survived the majority of the afternoon with good weather. Take it all the kids down in the corner there doing the scoring. Just to move back a little bit from the sideline. Just move back towards the scoreboard a little bit. Thanks, uh, guys. Okay, we've got the scoreboard in the corner up in operation. It's uh, showing 10 nil, but it's actually 14. Brasington sends the kick on its way. Flags are up. He makes it two out of three. It's 14, make it 16-0 to the Tigers. We've had four minutes in the second half. The Tigers 
That's right, and the Oak Tigers were scored by the flying winger, number five, Hamish Oxley, and successfully converted by number six, Mitchell Brasington. Bringing the score to the Oaks Tigers, 16, and the Oaks Oak Girl workers yet to score with 34 and a half minutes remaining in this first, second half. So there's all the details you need to know for Kip McGrath and Arell, and it was Hamish Oxley with the try. Mitchell Brasington with the goal, 16-0, Tigers lead it. And we've got 34 minutes remaining. The Viking clap going around Canberra Stadium at the moment. The Raiders and Eagles about to do battle in the capital this afternoon. A massive crowd expecting over 20,000 down south in Canberra. For this one this afternoon should be a cracking game. We'll keep you on top of that for Forte Financial. As the Raiders make their way onto home turf once again. Here it's the Tigers by 16. Narlis nearly sneaking through the other side on the last. Kick downfield from Ryan Russell. High up and under ball. Taken by Blake Sutton. Hampered by a right ankle injury. They'll need a miracle to advance beyond this weekend as it stands Sutton with a heavily strapped right ankle Kai Vallada the man of the moment after during and after the half time break gets the jeers of the rounds of the kitchen from the home supporters as he took a run now it's centering Josh Burke taking it forward about 25-30 metres out from the line Miss Stedman, long ball out for Arthur Little, has numbers on the outside, coming back on the inside was Mitchell Goff on the hit and spin. Still going Mitchell Goff, still going Mitchell Goff towards the line. Only five metres out was disallowed, one in the first half. This time he can't quite reach out. Scott Jones out of dummy half, turns it inside. Nice ball there, out the back they keep it alive. Alouche finds Stedman, they keep it alive. Kai Vallada, public enemy number one in the second half. Can he reach out and score? No. Half a metre out, last tackle. Crowd reminding him that he's in opposition territory this afternoon. Scott Jones, Arthur Little, last tackle. Little grubber kick through the line. Arthur Little, yes! Arthur Little! Vintage rugby league from the number seven. He gets there in the end. The workers aren't done with yet. It's 16-4, kick to come. Eight minutes gone, second half. Arthur Little turning back the hands of time. A brilliant little solo run to the line, put the grubber kick through, beat them to the ball and forced it in goal for the opening try. Lovely piece of play from the veteran number seven, Arthur Little. It's 16 points to four in favour of the Tigers over the workers in this elimination final. So just maybe we're not done with just yet. We had a match ball go over the back of the southern end of the ground. If someone could return that to the ball boys, please. We have a match ball over the southern end of the ground. He's trying to retrieve one of the footballs. Now the goal kicker. That's Arthur, it's uh, Jake Stedman, is it? It's Jake Stedman. Oh, goal kicking, it might be Josh Burke, actually. It might be Josh Burke with the conversion yeah, attempt. Thank you. No, it is Stedman, and he's added it from in front. So it's 16-6. 16-6, Oakdale trails the Oaks. A great solo try to Arthur Little and the conversion from Jake Stedman back to a 10-point game. So we've got very cool here in the Burragrang Valley. The sun has disappeared at a very fresh Sunday afternoon in the MacArthur Finals Rugby League on MSR, the only place to be this afternoon. Next week we're off to Camden. That was a very flat ball. The referee Sheldrick says it was forward. That try to Oakdale was scored by number seven, Arthur Little, and successfully so converted by number six, the Jake Stedman. The score, this first grade fixture, the Oak Tigers 16, the Oakdale workers six. If you've got one of the uh, Dudley Chesham Daily Doubles, you'll be looking for number four for the 
home side and number seven for the away side. Is the combination four. four and seven for the home Daily Double this seven, afternoon here at Away side for the Daily Chesham Dubs Daily Double. As we wait for this scrum to pack, 10 metres out. Ben Scambry to feed this scrum. Work a set move to the right hand side. Hamish Oxley trying to get his arms free, can't do so. Half an hour remains in the season for the Oaks or Oakdale. Who will it be? The Battle of Burragoring continues on MSR. Vandermeule and back slams. Nine metres out from the line. Wind certainly picking up here at DCO and the temperature has dropped significantly. There's Nalis up the middle. Back slammed into the turf. Penalty according to referee Sheldrick and time off. So ten and a half minutes into the second half. And... We've got an Oakdale player in the bin. The Tigers fans are happy with that. The Oakdale players and supporters are a little confused. I think they might be for repeat infringements. Referee Sheldrick's run out of patience. I suspect a general caution has been given to say that uh, the next time anybody makes an infringement like that, it will be... Will be a sin bin. Just uh, kill my fixed microphone for a moment as we see the Tigers on the attack. Inside the 10, only about six or seven metres from the line. On the western side, there's Nalis up the middle, ball comes loose. Referee's going to say play on. Jason Thompson makes a good run up towards the 10. Southern end of the ground, Kai Vallada takes it forward almost to the quarter. And his football doing the talking. Uh, Sione Kai Vallada, now Josh Burke. Forward to the 30, three good runs there. Almost 30 metres out from the line. Scott Jones, Alec Bush, Arthur Little takes time, punches it downfield, looking for the 40-20. Can he get the bounce? You better believe he can. Great kick from the veteran number seven. Great kick from the number seven. They'll get the 40-20 tap. They'll get the restart. It'll be about 10 metres out from the line. Scott Jones has it. Matt's on the touchline. Looking like he's going to go back on very soon. As we see the Tigers having to defend once again. I'll turn it back inside. There's Burke once again. Only a few metres out from the line on the eastern side. Back to the open side. Left Craig Field trying to put some footwork on the big man. Only a few metres from the line. Scott Jones out of dummy half. No, they're awake to it. Ryan Russell over the top. The two veterans come together. Jones not winning that battle with his opposite. Bush. Left hand side, Arthur Little has a double. Arthur Little has a double in quick time as well. It's now 14, 16 points to eight. Uh, make it 16 points to 10, sorry, 16 points to 10. Conversion previously was added by Jake Steadman. Arthur Little has a double in quick time. So just maybe his time and Hope for the workers and this parochial home crowd has been silenced yet again. 27 minutes to go in this final. Maybe she's not all over just yet. They might get the fairy tale for another week. Picton awaits the winner of this one. 16-10 the scoreline in favour of Oakdale. Oakdale trailing the Oaks. 16-10, Jake Stedman to try and make it a four-point game. And on the grounds for Fort Hay Financial, no score, seven minutes gone, second half, uh, first half. And Bremen Lee down in the capital. I'll keep you on top of that for Fort Hay Financial Services. Good afternoon, David Bowen. And the crew from Fort Hay Financial on the Oakdale like bench, pensively watching on and the supporters, knowing they're still alive in this one. Stedman. Make it a four-point game. He does. Two from two. It's 
16-12. This game is well and truly alive. Just under 26 minutes remaining. The workers are back. And this one, back to four points the margin. Number seven, Arthur Little Green, second try, successfully converted by number six, Jake Sedman. See the workers coming the out of their own end. Big run up towards the quarter and over it. The workers are charging. It's 16-12 in the battle of Burragarang. And she's a battle all right. Thompson to the 30. Out the back for Bush. Bush having a great afternoon, the number nine. He's been dangerous and scheming. He'll play a 10 short of halfway. Scott Jones. Into dummy half, gives it to Craig Field. Field towards halfway. He's about four metres short of that point when he plays it. Back to the right-hand side. Bush this time goes for a run. Takes on the Tigers' defence, can't get through the other side. He'll play it eight metres inside. Tigers' territory, Ali Alou, she's very dangerous. Gets the ball away to Jason Thompson, over the top. Shovel hands needed, Josh Burke did well to hold on to it did very well got it away back on the inside Stedman 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 towards the line he's only a couple of meters out in fact he's dragged into that north western uh, northeastern corner back it comes through the hands Jason Thompson got it on the bounce wasn't expecting it long ball for Arthur Little on the outside Mitchell Goff Mitchell Goff can he get it back on the inside he can Arthur Little will get a hat trick the workers lead the semi-final 18 6 it's 16 all it's about to be 18 16. three in a row to Arthur Little and they've all come in the space of about 14 minutes Arthur Little with three second half tries ties it up at 16 all the conversion attempt from in front makes it 18 16. he will be Adding the extras from in front, Jake Stedman. So three tries in the space of eight minutes for Arthur Little. Turns this game on its head. Now the workers, the comeback. It's not only on, they've so far completed it. Jake Stedman to put them in front for the first time today. The number six. Should add the extras here from in front. Arthur Little, a three try burst. The veteran keeps them alive. The workers lead at 18 16. And there's still 23 That's minutes right to go. Working, the DCO crowd, the majority of them are stunned. <laughs> It's been a turnaround of epic proportions. They led 16 nil after 44 minutes. And Arthur Little with three tries in eight minutes. Makes it 18-16. The workers lead it. So the workers now in front by two. Can they hold on? There's still a long way to go in this one. 22 minutes. The Battle of Burragarang. The lines are drawn. Are you red and black? Are you black and gold? The lines have been drawn. Which side of the fence are you on? The workers are coming. We know who we are from Oakdale. The Tigers, they're not finished with yet. Here's Alec Bush. He's been outstanding in this second half. Now the crowd coming to life. 18-16, the workers lead. Scott Jones, he's been dynamic this afternoon. The number 14. Penalty to the workers for a high tackle. Penalty count on our sheet, 844. OzSkills.com.au, your local IPL specialist. If you're looking to upgrade, speak to OzSkills. Mention MacArthur Sports Radio for a 15% discount on your next qualification. So the kick finds touch now. Jack Mitchell about to go on. He'll take an interchange card and check in. In fact, they're down to 12 men for the time being. And David Bush. Or David Field. Or David Lowe will get it right eventually. Also about to go on. The workers on the attack looking for a fourth try. Where's Arthur Little? He's out wide on the left-hand side. Stedman. 
through the hand. Scott Jones now Arthur Little, the dangerous Arthur Little. Fires it out to Mitchell Goff. He deserves one this afternoon. Pops it back on the inside. Finds support there towards the line. And they're very close, Oakdale. Only a metre or two out on the line. Scott Jones, Arthur Little, short ball. Blake Sutton, yes! Blake Sutton's in! Only had one to beat, but he did it. And the workers have put on four in quick time. This time it's Blake Sutton getting his name on the score sheet. 22-16 is the score. The tide has turned in epic proportions. <laughs> the workers have come from nowhere. They lead it by six with a kick to come. 20 to go. It's in the elimination final. Four tries in what's that? 11 minutes. Bang, crash, wallop, thump. What happened? The Oaks Tigers are asking themselves that same question. James Kovacs onto the field. The big front rower. will join the fray for the Tigers. But the workers have come from nowhere. They were down 16. Uh, so let's try again. 10 nil at half time. 16 nil. Four minutes into the second half. It looked like it was going to be any old score. But Arthur Little instrumental in leading the Tigers possibly to finals oblivion. Arthur Little with three tries. Blake Sutton adds his name. These 20 inside 20 to go. The Tigers lead it by six. So now this to make it beyond a converted try. Stedman from wide out on the left, sends it on its way, hangs it up, and it's over. Four from four in the second half. 24-16 the score. Oakdale leads the Oaks in the Battle of Burragarang. 24-16 with 18 and a half minutes remaining. In this Push to listen words from the touchline. Not too happy with what he's hearing from the uh, the bench from the Tigers. You see the block Alan Bush coming off. Matt Jones about to go on for the Tigers. There for the workers, rather. Jason Thompson over the 30. I just uh, back gradually. Alec Bush. Heads to the touchline, referee says lost ball, Oakdale. Lost ball, Oakdale. They're not happy with that. Tigers get the scrum feed, 35 metres out from the line. Scrum feed goes the way of the home side. They need every break they can right now. Get back into this one, they're down by eight. It's been an onslaught in the second half. From the red and black army is Matthew Brasington fighting for every metre, 35 metres from the line. Is it on the western side of the ground? Conditions have certainly cooled and darkened in the last little while. Now Kovacs up the middle, good run, James Kovacs. Tiger's certainly not out of it yet. Take it up the middle once again. That breeze starting to pick up as well. Not as bad as yesterday, but certainly freshening up. Long ball out wide for Michael Brasington from Mitchell. He slung the ground. Thompson over the top, making the tackle. They play it now on the last. Back to Mitchell for the little grubber kick into the end goal. Will it sit up? No, Arthur Little. Arthur Little, the veteran. What a play from the number seven. Was Johnny on the spot? Read it beautifully. We should send him over to Headingley. Might be more use over there than here at DCO, but he read that perfectly. Matt Jones back on the field. The workers fans screaming for an offside penalty as they work upfield towards the 30. Late in this one, 16 and a quarter to go. It's 24-16. 10 on the field. That's uh, David Lowe. He'll play it now. Steadman kicks downfield over the head of Alex Cannon. No, he'll knock it back. 
He'll knock it back. Wheel around the little legs are going. 15 of the dozen for Alex Cannum. He winds into the line. 35 metres out. He'll be stopped on the first tackle. They need to get some momentum and some territory here. The Tigers. Phillips to the outside. And get through the workers, workers defence. Guess who made that tackle? Number seven. And now they're really muscling up the workers. They're starting to lift in defence and in attack as well. Oxley underneath gets the ball away. Hitting a good tackle. That was David Lowe making the tackle. Ryan Russell plays it eventually. Now it's uh, Lapini Payer who's been let loose for the final 15 minutes. Fresh man on the field, jersey 18. Mitchell out the back for Matthew. Matthew for Michael. The Brasingtons combine once again into open space. Gets the ball out the back. Play on the call. Vandermeulen. That's come off an Oakdale player. Six more tackles. There's uh, Daniel Bell for the line. Still going, Daniel Bell. Still going. He got there. They're going to say he wasn't held. It's going to be a try to the Tigers. Try to the Tigers. They're back in it. 15 to go, 24-20, kick to come. They're going to say he wasn't held. Daniel Bell gets the try for the Tigers to get them back into the game. The Oakdale fans believe he was tackled. Referee Sheldrick said otherwise. The Tigers now back within four. Mitchell Brasington, can he add the extras? Not having the best afternoon with the boot. Two from three for the number six. Still 14 and a quarter minutes remaining in the semi-final. Mitchell Brasington getting a lot of advice from the home fans. They're giving him the rounds of the kitchen. Listen to the fans, give it to him. Can he block it out? Sends it on its way. No, it's not coming back. That's not coming back. It's 24-20 Oakdale leads. We've got 13.45 remaining in the semi-final. One of these teams will bow out at the end of the afternoon. Will it be the Tigers or the workers? 13 and a half to go as we've just heard on the PA system. 13 and a half minutes. Everybody knows it's on the line. A four-point game in the elimination final. That's for Kip McGrath, Norellan and Campbelltown. The restart from Stedman goes deep. Can give it to Kovacs? He takes it off the run. Runs into the fullback there in Blake Sutton. And Sutton puts the body on the line and takes a big hit there from the front rower. As so they work upfield now, the Tigers towards the 30. 13 minutes to go in the semi final. One of these teams will bow out after this. There's the Tigers coming upfield. They've got some momentum in the last couple of minutes. Can they keep it going? They're at halfway now. Mitchell Brasington fires it wide. Nalas, Matthew Brasington finds Michael. Michael loses the ball. Ball goes back. It's on the deck. Oakdale have it. Play on the call. Josh Burke with the ball. Burke can't quite get through open space. Michael Brasington and uh, Bell put him to ground. Zero tackle. Now the Tigers, the workers want an offside penalty. Sheldrick not obliging this time. They're 13 short of halfway. Scotty Jones for Jason Thompson. Now Matty Jones. Matt Jones takes the hit. Bell over the top, makes the tackle. Good one, three short of halfway. We've got a blockbuster of an elimination final. Little has it. Turns on the afterburners. Finds Mitchell Goff in open space. Mitchell Goff is away. Inside the 30. Inside the 20. Takes on the fullback. He'll get there and score. What a try. Mitchell Goff. What a try from the centre. He deserves that one. 12 to go. The workers extend. It's 28-20 in the knockout final. Is that the knockout blow from Mitchell Goff? Just when the workers thought the Tigers were coming back. Mitchell Goff had to put the ears back and boy did he do it. He had a couple to beat and he still got there to score in the corner. In fact, it was under the uprights. Mitchell Goff, what a try that was. 11 minutes remaining, 28-20. The workers are not done yet. They hold an eight point lead. Stedman from in front should make it double digits. 
we're ticking down to 10 minutes to go in the final. Who wants it more? Can the Tigers lift again? The Oakdale supporters applauding the efforts of the number three. What a game he's had today. He deserves that try. Oh, Jake Stedman, four from four. Can he make it five from five? With the right boot. The Raiders are in in Canberra. They lead 4-0. Jared Croker trying to make it six. Stedman steadies himself. Moves into it. Adds the two. It's 30 points to 20. He's five from five. We've got ten minutes left in the elimination final. Converted by number six, Jake Stephan, bringing the score. The Oaks Tigers twenty. The workers by ten. With ten to go. Ten minutes remaining in the first in the second half. And the workers hold on. Can the Tigers come back? Brasington, a mid-range kick into no man's land. Bounces the way of Oakdale. They'll get the bounce going their way. David Lowe. Takes it 20 metres out from his own line. Buckle up, folks. Nine and a half to go in the elimination final. Somebody's going home. Will it be the workers? Will it be the Tigers? We'll find out. Stay with us on MSR for the next nine minutes. This should be ripping rugby league. The workers up the middle. Over the 30. Good run there. Scott Jones in the dummy half. Finds brother Matt. Matt to the outside. Takes on the Tigers defence. Can't break out this time. He'll play it. Four short of halfway. The Tiger Insulation Broadcast Box rocking and rolling this afternoon. Scotty Jones. Penalty to the workers. No. Penalty to the Tigers. Penalty to the Tigers. I think that's for an obstruction. We thought about taking the quick tap. At least uh, Mitchell Brasington faked the quick tap. Decides to drive it into touch on the western side of the field. And finds touch about 15 metres out. Are the Tigers making the comeback to get them into next week's minor semi-final? Russell taps it, gives it off to Begovic. He's 10 metres out from the line. Eight and a half to go. 30 plays, 20. Oakdale in front. Mitchell Brasington turns it inside, finds Sean Valatour back on the field in 15. He'll play it five metres out. Brasington, that's Mitchell for Matthew. Puts a little grubber kick through. Will it sit? Will it sit? Will it sit? No, it goes touching goal. It's come off. It's come off the yoke. No, it's going to be a 20 metre tap. I thought they were going to say it was a line dropout. It's a 20 metre tap. Eight minutes left. Eight minutes left. 30 plays 20. The workers lead at Matty Jones. Great run there from the number 13. Only made five or six metres. But it was all energy. The workers over the 30 now. Late in this one. Seven minutes, seven and a half minutes. We'll keep you on top of the clock regularly. Around the grounds for Forte Financial. It's 6-0 Canberra over Manly in the NRL in Canberra this afternoon. There's Craig Field. Hit and spin. Alec Bush have had to go back on. Final seven minutes for the number nine this afternoon. He's been very good as well. It's a good thing we're not handing out a man of the match award because it'll be a tough job to hand out. Jason Thompson inside. Tigers territory by about seven or eight metres. Back it comes. Little, where's he going? Left-hand side. They've got numbers out that way. Mitchell Goff got the ball away. Sutton doesn't have the pace he normally does. He would have burnt them if he'd had the pace, but the ball's gone to ground, has it? And a little bit of... Just a little bit of uh, pleasantries being exchanged, working out who's buying the first beer this evening. And nothing more than that, so I'll have a scrum feed. Looks like a Tigers scrum feed it is. Tigers scrum feed, 20 metres out, 20 in on the western side. North DCO, six and a half to go in this one. The workers 30, Tigers 20, the winner to meet Picton, the loser. Ends their season, 6.23 on our clock remaining. That's not the official one. We'll get back underway. Just a brief pause in this battle of Burragorang and Boy is she a battle this afternoon. Tigers now, Brasington, that's Mitchell for Matthew. He's really come to life in the second half. Was that an obstruction? The workers wanted it. 
Sheldrick had a good long look at it and said no, it's okay. Had a good long look at that before making a decision of no. Balls come loose, Oakdale have it. Oakdale have it. 25 metres out from the line. David Lowe up the middle, runs into Kovacs and others over the top. 20 metres out, they come right hand side, Matt Jones puts it down. That's not what Oakdale needed, Jones made the error. He's been good this afternoon, the number 13. They put it down at the wrong moment. Five and a half to go, we're inside five and a half to go. 30 plays 20, the Tigers need to get the move on and get to the right end of the field for them. They're 70 metres away. Big finish on the cards. 30 plays 20, the Tigers, all the workers to meet Picton in a minor semi next week. Camden will face Thurmere in the major semi at 1.15 next Sunday. Picton awaits. Well, at the moment, it's Oakdale. Five minutes to go. Inside that mark now, there's Kovacs up the middle, gets the ball out the back. Russell, shovel ball to the right-hand side of the Oakdale defence. They're approaching halfway, the Tigers. Clock becomes a factor. They need to score quickly if they're to have a chance. Russell, Mitchell Brasington, Lapini Payer was that forward. The crowd wanted it. The Oakdale supporters wanted it. The referee said no. He'll play it three inside Oakdale territory. Mitchell Brasington goes a little chip and chase over the top. Can he get the bounce? No, he can't. Jake Steadman put his body on the line. The two number sixes collide. 22 metres out. From the Oakdale line, Ali Alouche over the 30. He'll play at 32 metres, 34 metres out. Back to the left hand side. There's a good run. Up over the 40 towards halfway. Now they put it to the right hand side. Oakdale, have the Tigers got anything left in the tank? Inside four minutes left. They're down by 10. They don't have the ball. Josh Burt puts on a little stutter step. Can't get through the line this time. Pulled to ground. Eventually held up about 25 metres out from the line on the last. Back it comes. Steadman. Long ball. Little. Little. Takes on the line. Gets it out the back. But only finds big James Kovacs. Tigers come up with it. 15 short of halfway. Matt Jones around the ankles. Russell to the right hand side. Matthew Brasington fires it out wide. Here's a chance for the Tigers over halfway. Good cover defence from Oakdale. Five inside. The workers half. Virtually a full set at their disposal. Time becoming a factor. Three minutes on our clock. They're 40 metres out. They need to score and convert quickly if they're to have a chance. Russell to the right hand side. This Oakdale defence holding strong for now. 30 metres out. Mitchell Brasington out the back. Matthew Brasington looking for Michael. Can't get there. Good tackle. Big defence from Stedman. Three minutes to go. We've just heard it over the PA. That's about right. A little bit of afters between Stedman. And the penalty goes to the Tigers. Stedman. A little bit of push and shove. He's called time. 2.29 going to go on our clock. 2.29 to go on our clock. And there's push and shelf between Stedman and Matthew Brasington. Some of caution being given Stedman and Alec Bush, the captain out there. I was just told to settle down. Only a couple of minutes remaining. Leading points to 20, the score, two and a half to go. Time back on. We get underway, they take the tap. Kovacs up the middle, three of them there to stop him. 19 metres from the line. Final chance for the Tigers. They've slung the last chance. Saloon doors open. Now they go from the dummy half position. Mitchell Brasington finds Daniel Bell. Bell to within a couple of metres of the line. West Eastern side of the ground, very slow play of the ball, not what the Tigers need. Russell, long ball. That's Begovic out wide. What's he doing out there? Within four metres of the line, Begovic plays it. And come back 
Kovacs up the middle. Can he reach out and score? Yes, he can. It's not done with yet, but time's their enemy. 140 remaining. Just over 90 seconds to go. Kovacs is in 30-24. Can Brasington add the extras to make it 30-26? Close range to the uprights. He's added the extras. So 30-26 is the score. With a minute and a quarter to go on our clock. That's not the official one, by the way. That try to the Oaks Tigers scored by number eight, James Kovac, successfully converted by number six, Mitchell Brasington. Bringing this score, the Oaks Tigers 26, Oakdale Workers 30, with a minute and 14 seconds remaining. So that's pretty match. close, a minute 14 we here on the ground announcer. A minute 14 remaining, so we're down to about a minute now. The elimination final, it's all on the line. All is trapped by the Tigers. Begovic, has he got one more big run in him? They'll take it forward. Up towards the quarter, they're at the wrong end of the ground. There's only about 50 seconds, I would say, on, on our clock. There's 30 seconds, so maybe a little bit more. Mitchell Brasington trying to spark something late. 30 metres out from his own line at the wrong end of the park. Time becoming a factor, no more than 40-odd seconds to go. Kovacs, Kovacs keeps it alive on the right-hand side, but they're still at the wrong end of the ground. Oakdale holding on. 30-26 in a thriller. Little bit of after these punches being thrown here. They're playing on here. Referee's going to call time. I've got one second remaining on our clock. And they've come from everywhere. They have come from everywhere. The Battle of Baragarang has erupted. Literally one second remaining on our watch. It, is, it has exploded. Well and truly. Certainly, certainly not what we want to see. A disappointing end of the match. Local rivals only six kilometres apart. And a big rivalry between these two neighbours. I've got one second remaining on my clock, but that's not the official one. So we can't tell you exactly how long to go, but there's only at most 15, 20 seconds. So what's going to come out of this? Surely there would have to be uh, players removed from the field here. 30, 26, the score line, as I said, for Kip McGrath, Norellan and Campbelltown. There's one second on my clock remaining. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen here or how long we've got to go, but there's only... A matter of seconds left. The referee getting his report from the touch judges. Both have come in. And about five, seven metres inside. The Tigers half on the western side of the field. Some two ambulances flying down the hill in Barragarang Road. They're heading to DCO. They're too late. It's already erupted. I'm sure they're not heading that way, by the way. Number 12. They're not making their here. And for Brasington protesting to Aaron Sheldrick. As I said, I've got one second remaining on our clock. I don't know who's going to call out or what's going to happen here. Who's that with the uh, nose uh, bandit? That's uh, Scambry. Scambry has come and reacted to something. Caution goes against him now. Oakdale. Let's see, Mitchell Goff gets called out. He was the one who seemed to uh, react first. I don't know whether something happened in the tackle, but let's see what happens here. See what comes out of this. It's on report. Uh, is anybody going to be removed? Looks like maybe Mitchell Goff might be the man. Yeah, he's off. Use of the head, the signal from the referee. Not <coughs> me, so only a matter of seconds remaining. He's been sent off in the 
elimination final. 20 points, uh, 30 points to 26, we'll get it right. 30 points to 26, no more than 10 or 15, maybe 20 seconds to go at most. Now clock will show zero in, a, in one second. So penalty goes to the Tigers. That's our clock showing time. Penalty to the Tigers. Can they find a way to steal victory from the jaws of defeat? They've been swamped in the second half. Mitchell Brasington. What can he do? Out the back. Matthew Brasington. They need to defend the, the workers. Mitchell Brasington. There's the siren. They need to shut the ball down. The ball goes to the right-hand side. Scambry. It's out wide on the right-hand side. Oxley for the corner. Gets there in the corner. Hamish Oxley scores in the corner. Surely we couldn't go to extra time. It's a kick after the siren to win it for the Tigers. Time is up. 80th minute try. Hamish Oxley gets a double. And he gets a double to make it 30 all after the siren. The kick to win it for Mitchell Brasington. Oakdale can't believe it. His body's on the ground in disbelief. Now Mitchell Brasington, can he kick it from the touchline to win the semi-final and put the Tigers into an elimination final? Time is up. There is no time remaining on the clock. So it will be the final act of the day. Can he add the extras to make it a 32-30 victory for the Tigers? Or are we going to extra time? An elimination final hangs on the right boot of the big number six. The crowd will tell the story here at DCO. They will lift the roof if he slots it. It's a tough kick though. He'd be about 25 metres out and maybe four or five metres in on the western side of the ground. All depends on this kick. Taking his time. The Oakdale workers to try it. Supporters try and put him off. The home fans willing the steed and over. It all comes on the right boot of Mitchell Brasington to win the game for the Oaks Tigers. He sends it on its way. It's up. It's up. It's over. Tigers win. Tigers win it after the bell. 32-30. What a way to finish the day. What a game of rugby league. The Tigers steal it after the siren. 32-30 the final score. It hung in the breeze. It just had enough carry to cross the bar. 32-30 the Oaks win. They go into the elimination minor semi-final next week. They will take on the Picton Magpies. What a way to finish. The afternoon's rugby league. The Oaks get home in a thriller 32 30 after the final siren. The Oakdale workers, far from impressed with the performance of the officiating crew this afternoon. But what a finish! Oakdale bows out, gallant in defeat 32 30. They, they go down to the Oaks Tigers. The Oakdale season comes to an end, but what a way, what a fight back. They trailed 16-0.